Have you ever pondered about the significance of the Panama Canal in global trade? Picture a world where ships don't have to navigate the treacherous Cape Horn or the long journey around Cape of Good Hope. That's the reality the Panama Canal made possible. This 50-mile-long waterway serves as a crucial maritime shortcut, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and reshaping global shipping routes. Let's embark on a journey to understand the history, construction and development of this engineering marvel. The vision for the Panama Canal dates back to the 16th century, a time when the world was still being discovered and mapped, a time of explorers and empires. Among the visionaries of this era was Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor and King of Spain. He was the first to propose a shortcut from the Atlantic to the Pacific, dreaming of a canal that would cut through the Isthmus of Panama. Charles V was a man ahead of his time. He saw the potential for such a passage to transform global trade, to bring new wealth and power to his realm. Yet it was a vision that seemed impossible to achieve. The geographical challenges were immense. Panama was a land of dense jungles, swamps and rugged mountains. The climate was harsh with heavy rainfall and extreme heat. And then there were the diseases like malaria and yellow fever that claimed the lives of many who dared venture there. But the idea took hold, simmering in the minds of engineers and explorers. Over the centuries, various plans were proposed, but none could overcome the formidable obstacles. The terrain was too tough, the technology of the time insufficient. The vision of the canal remained just that, a vision. Yet, the dream of the Panama Canal was not easily dismissed. It was a challenge that taunted the minds of the ambitious and the daring. It was a puzzle waiting to be solved, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The vision of the canal was not just about creating a shortcut for ships. It was about pushing the boundaries of what was possible. It was about proving that no obstacle was too great no dream too audacious. Despite the initial challenges, the vision for the canal didn't die, but rather sparked a flame of determination. It ignited a fire that would burn for centuries, driving countless individuals to strive, to innovate, and to overcome. And so, the stage was set for one of the most ambitious engineering projects in history, the construction of the Panama Canal. The 19th century marked the beginning of a new era for the Panama Canal. It was a time of great ambition, and even greater challenges. The first attempts to construct the canal were led by the French, under the stewardship of Ferdinand de Lesseps, the man who had successfully orchestrated the construction of the Suez Canal. De Lesseps, emboldened by his previous success, believed he could repeat his feat in Panama. However, the Panama Canal proved to be a much more formidable opponent than the Suez. The dense jungles of Central America presented a harsh and unforgiving environment for the French engineers and their workforce. The terrain was difficult, with high mountain ranges and unpredictable weather patterns. Yet the physical obstacles were not the only challenges they faced. Diseases such as yellow fever and malaria were rampant, wreaking havoc among the workers. The lack of understanding and viable treatment options for these diseases at the time led to a high mortality rate, causing significant delays in the construction progress. The French, despite their best efforts, were ill-prepared for the scale of the issues they encountered. Furthermore, financial woes began to plague the project. The cost of construction was mounting, far exceeding the initial estimates. The French government began to buckle under the weight of the financial burden and investors became increasingly wary. The dream of the Panama Canal was slipping away. After almost a decade of struggling with these insurmountable challenges, the French admitted defeat. By 1889, the French attempt to construct the Panama Canal came to a halt. The canal, it seemed, was not to be. Yet every end is a new beginning. The French attempt was a failure, but it set the stage for the Americans to step in. The dream of the Panama Canal was not dead. It was merely waiting for a new chapter to begin. The American era in the Panama Canal construction was about to begin. In the early days of the 20th century, the United States, under the leadership of President Theodore Roosevelt, took on the monumental task of completing the Panama Canal. This was an era defined by audacious ambition technological advancements, and a relentless pursuit of progress. 
Roosevelt, a man of action and a lover of big projects, was determined to see the canal through to completion. After all, the strategic and economic benefits of a shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans were too significant to ignore. In 1904, the United States officially took over the project, bringing with it a fresh wave of innovation and determination. American engineers were faced with the same daunting challenges that had defeated the French, a treacherous terrain, challenging weather conditions, and the ever-present threat of tropical diseases. However, the Americans were armed with recent advancements in technology and a better understanding of the health risks involved. They brought in steam shovels, dredges, and other heavy machinery to excavate and remove the massive amounts of rock and soil. They also implemented rigorous health measures, including sanitation programs and mosquito control, to combat diseases like yellow fever and malaria, which had claimed so many lives during the French attempt. The construction of the Panama Canal was a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It required the construction of an artificial lake, the blasting of the Culebra cut through the mountainous continental divide, and the creation of a series of locks to lift and lower ships an engineering marvel that was unprecedented at the time. Every step of the way, the American engineers and workers faced and overcame immense challenges. They pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible, transforming a dream that had once seemed unattainable into a reality. Finally, after 10 arduous years of toil, the Panama Canal was completed. The colossal waterway stretching 50 miles from the Atlantic to the Pacific stood as a testament to human achievement and American perseverance. On August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal, this incredible engineering feat, was officially opened. The Panama Canal today is a testament to human determination and ingenuity. Spanning 50 miles through the narrow isthmus of Panama, this engineering marvel connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, creating a vital shortcut for international maritime trade. Now let's sail into the present day. Today, the Panama Canal is more than just a testament to past engineering feats. It continues to be a lifeline in our globalized world. Every year it facilitates the passage of over 13,000 vessels, carrying approximately 300 million tonnes of cargo. That's the equivalent of over 6,000 Eiffel Towers. In the year 2016, a significant milestone reshaped the canal's future. A massive expansion project was completed, allowing larger ships, known as New Panamax, to navigate the canal. These behemoths can carry up to three times the cargo of their predecessors, making the canal an even more critical conduit for global trade. This expansion was no small feat. It involved widening and deepening both the Atlantic and Pacific entrances of the canal and constructing new sets of locks. With these enhancements, the canal can now handle ships up to 49 meters wide and 366 meters long. But the Panama Canal is more than just an engineering marvel and a vital trade route. It's a testament to the power of human ambition, symbolizing our ability to overcome obstacles and connect continents. It's a reminder of how far we've come and a beacon of how far we can go. The Panama Canal is also an example of how we can work with nature instead of against it. The canal's locks operate entirely on gravity using Lake Gatun's water, which is replenished by Panama's abundant rainfall. This ingenious design allows the canal to operate sustainably without the need for pumps or additional energy sources. The Panama Canal continues to play a vital role in global trade, making our world a bit smaller and more connected. It stands as a testament to our past, a pillar of our present, and a beacon for our future, illuminating the path towards continued innovation and progress. So what have we learned? We've journeyed through the remarkable tale of the Panama Canal, an engineering marvel that transformed global trade. It all started with a vision, a dream to create a shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This dream was not without its challenges and setbacks, with the French attempt serving as a stark reminder of the canal's demanding nature. Yet the dream persisted. The American takeover marked a new chapter in the canal's story. Through sheer determination, innovation, and an understanding of the canal's unique challenges, the Americans succeeded where others had failed. They completed the canal, forever changing the face of global trade and cementing their place in engineering history. 
Today, the Panama Canal stands as a bustling hub of commerce, a testament to the power of human ingenuity. It continues to play a vital role in global trade, connecting distant corners of the world and facilitating the swift movement of goods. It stands as a symbol of progress, a beacon of what we can achieve when we dare to dream and have the courage to pursue those dreams relentlessly. The Panama Canal story is not just about the canal itself, but it's also about the people who dared to dream, who faced insurmountable odds, and who, in the end, created something truly extraordinary. The Panama Canal, an engineering marvel, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress.